Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am bringing you my highlighter collection. I thought I didn't have many, but apparently I do. I have quite a lot of highlighters and I want to go through them all and swatch them and, you know, give you a bit of a, a round up, round down of all the highlighters I've got. And I have a mixture of high end and budget friendly, so I think I might do it in two different videos i might do budget and then i might do high end because i think i have equal measures mm, yeah maybe we'll see so um oh i don't even know what to begin with let's start off with these these are the um blushing hearts from makeup revolution i have three two of which are meant to be blushes but I think they're more highlighters and then I do have a dedicated highlighter so I will go with the dedicated highlighter these are the goddess of love highlighters and this is the goddess of faith and it looks like this I haven't used this for so long you know when you open something up again you think god that's pretty oh my good god look at that so pretty this is definitely for the pale girls this is a pinkish peachy highlighter my god that is gorgeous can you see that i'll definitely be doing lots of swatches here the next one is the shade um what are you iced hearts and it looks like this i think that just looks like a highlighter it's got three shades in it it's got a lighter shade a pinky shade and then a deepy bronzy shade so i'm just going to swatch all three separately first they look like that oh my god they're so beautiful um i'm going to swatch them on my hand here there is definitely oh they're so can you see those i don't even yeah you can just see it there look so stunning and then i'll give you a, an all over swatch so just oh i forgot how beautiful that is look at it there next to that's goddess of faith and that is the triple bait all in one oh it's just so stunning Honestly, they get, they're so super soft and they're really shimmery. That These are definitely ones that are underrated, I think. I think more people should have them. I'm so sorry. I've got the window open. It's too warm. Um, and then I have Peachy Pink Kisses, which I think is one of my favourite of all time. So again, it has the three colours. Um, where can I put these? I think I'll put them here on my arm. You're not going to see them. I don't know why I bother. Can you see those? Yeah, you can see them a little bit. There you go. There you go. That's the three shades individually. And then all swatched together, I'm going to put them here. Oh, quite similar. To, do you know what? It's pinker than the... Yeah, it's peachy pink. That's exactly what it is. I'll just shade that so you can see. They're quite similar. That one is the pink uh, uh, ice hearts, and that's peachy pink kisses quite similar but all really good for pale skin if you are like me and super pale then definitely give those a go okay so staying on the theme of makeup revolution i suppose i've got two of the sun kiss ones i have iced hearts and i have peach kiss i think it's called so this is peach kiss and this is iced hearts so I got both of them because I like to mix mine. And I think Ice Hearts is just slightly too stark for me. But I also think that the pink one is slightly too dark for me. So I will show you them individually. They're really moistened. What do they look really wet. Oh gosh, where can I put these? On there and on there. I don't know whether you can see those there you go you can see i've got stains on my arm from eyeshadow swatches so that is um iced kiss and that is peach kiss mixed together these are stunning on the face also if you just use a light hand with peach kiss it works really well on light ish skin tones not the fairest of the fair but i can just get away with it if i'm just slightly light-handed so if it looks like this I'm going to struggle if I'm just a bit light handed on top of a blush. Perfect. And they're massive. Just look at the size of them. Look. Huge. I love them. I love the packaging. They're new additions, really, to my collection. Um, 
Then I have the blush that is within the Glow palette. This is the Renaissance Glow, not blush, the highlighter. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful highlight. So that looks like this. If you can see it there. It's like a goldy, peachy shade. Again, it is the right side of light for light skin tones, this one, I think. And I also think it would work well on dark. I think it is a multi... Um, skin tone highlight which is rare to find and similarly I think it is actually the same one this is the you can see I've got hit pan on this the bronze and glow by I heart makeup and this one is practically the same color yeah I mean I think they're almost identical so if you the whole palette is the same to me I feel like they've just duplicated the palette themselves <laughs> um and then I also have the pink one. So both of these are highlighters. You've got the pink highlighter here and the icier highlight here. So that is like, uh, you can see here, I'll just show you them. I don't have barely used this one, but I will do during the summer months. So that is the pink, let me just shade it for you. There you go. That is the pink one there. And that is the other one, the lighter one there. I think mixed together they'll be so pretty really smooth really soft really gorgeous as usual oh, i've got quite a lot of highlighters for makeup revolution so this one i really really like this is the pro illuminate i think this is the same color as the ones that are in the other one so it's like a goldy shade like a champagne gold yeah do you know what it is practically the same it's a bit less shimmery I don't know if you can see it, but it's practically the same as the other ones out of the other palette. I think what they've done is they've taken the most generic highlight shade that they can and they've used it in quite a lot of things because they know it will suit most skin tones. So definitely one if you are looking for a champagne highlight or looking for one that is a bit just glowy and not too shimmery, these are really good. This is huge again, um, but beautiful. I've used that quite a lot in fact. And then just staying with Makeup Revolution because it's easier, I have the Ultra Pro, Pro Glow Palette. Oh, this is so stunning. I actually have this on today. I don't know whether you can see. And I used three colours. I used this one and this one initially. I put some um, MAC Fix Plus and then I used this one. These apparently, allegedly, um, are similar shades to some of the Pro Glow Palettes from... The Glow Palette, sorry, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, Tammy did a video for Makeup Revolution. No, she did it on her channel, actually, comparing the two, and they were more or less identical. Of course, there's eight shades here, so I think there's another palette that it compares to as well. But I think these are really pretty. The thing about these are they give you that wet look, sort of that it's not... It can be intense, but it, it isn't that intense. It's like... I don't know how to describe them they are intense look but they're not like i don't know how to describe them they're less intense than the other ones they're like you can see them they're really shimmery and they look beautiful on the skin this is a great palette this is if you haven't got any highlighters go and get this you don't need anything else this is amazing i don't know why i've got so many highlighters apparently i decided i wanted them all Okay, that's it for Makeup Revolution ones. However, I have some sleek ones. I have a model's own one and I have the one from PS. Also, um, I wouldn't say that was, I'd say that was medium. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you is the PS Strobing Kit. And this looks like this. It's got three shades in it. You've got glowing light, radiant light, and luminous light. Some of them are more glowy than others. So I'm just, they're so powdery, it's unbelievable. I'm gonna wipe those off. Oh my God, it's like the worst powdery consistency any, ever. If you're just light-handed, you can get such a beautiful glow. That glowing light is so subtle, it's lovely. These are so powdery, it's ridiculous. Radiant light is here. Yeah, I mean, they're not the best. They are nice, but they're not the best. And then that last one is almost like a matte. Yeah, you can see that, I mean, I don't know why I've kept hold of this, to be honest. I'm not sure why, I might pass this on. It's not my favorite. 
I'm not even going to lie. I have got highlighter everywhere. This is fun. I have two, oh, two sleek palettes. I have the Solstice palette and I have Cleopatra's kits. You can tell there is a little bit of a difference in colour. This one is like um, a deeper gold than this. So this is the Solstice palette. It comes with three powder highlights, which are very icy toned. Um, I barely use this and so many people love it. There you go. They're very icy toned. Um, and But they work on pale skin really well. You can see them there. And then you get this gorgeous shampoo. I wish this was the powder one, the champagne one. This is going to be so beautiful during the summer. Oh, it's so nice. It's so beautiful. It's proper glowy. I really like that. Look at that. It is really beautiful. It's now everywhere as well, which is exactly what I wanted. This is just a cult favourite, I think, for everybody. And then you get Cleopatra's Kiss, which has, I think... So it's got two cream shadows again, uh, cream highlighters again, which I haven't actually tried at all. Look like this. They're quite gold. I wonder if I can rub those off a bit so you can see these better. There we go. So you've got a... I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah. I'm not mad about the cream ones, to be honest. This one in this bottom, it's right if you're looking at it, is slightly glittery. It's just a glittery... Yeah, it's not great. But this one in the top colour, I think it's called Sphinx. My God, it is beautiful. Let's pop this on my arm somewhere. Somewhere you could see it, obviously. There. It's so nice. It's really gold, though. I think this is so much better for deeper skin tones. And the Solstice is probably better for lighter skin tones. So you're getting both there. I better get all of this off because I am absolutely covered great um next up i think i've only got a couple more to show you i have got the glow commotion which is a dupe for the mary luminizer there we go it looks like this again it's just a champagne color i'll just show you this is super nice look at that it is proper glowy i really like this one lovely champagne gold it is beautiful you can just see it there Really nice. This is something like two ninety nine. It's really cost effective. Then I have a model's own one, which is the shade Golden Sands. If I can just open it, it's sort of a peachy blush. I actually really like this. I'm going to pop that. Yeah, it's definitely more peachy than the other one. There you go. You can see that there. It's really beautiful. This is actually really, really nice. They have one called Peach something, but I feel like this is peachier which is weird <laughs> and then I think the final highlight that oh no I've got another one oh, god I've got a, a couple of really inexpensive highlights so this is the Ubub highlight and it is a dupe for champagne pop and it's not even a highlight it's an eyeshadow works as a highlight it is absolutely stunning you can see it here next to the others it's just can you see it there just on my hand there it is such a good dupe for the um champagne pop highlighter and it was a pound from ebay beautiful and then another one that is a, it says it's a baked blush but it's actually to me it's a highlighter again this is the sh i haven't got a shade it's an elf one that i got from a um a subscriber i'll just show you it this is meant to be a blush, but I can't see it as a blush at all. I'll just show you it on my wrist there. Look, it's much more of a highlighter and it's a really nice peachy shade. Absolutely love this. I don't know how much it would have been, but it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And I don't know if anybody else has got that. So it's really difficult for me to say that if it's a, a decent one or not. Next up, I actually just want to show you finally a highlight palette. And this is the highlight palette by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. Now, this is actually in my palette um, video that I've done. So I won't swatch these, but I'll just show you them. They're quite big pans. They look like this. They look like Makeup Geek blush pans. They're quite big. 
and you've got four shades there they do look quite similar these light ones but that's white and that is definitely a gold white you've got this peach one which is way too dark to be a highlight and then you have this one at the end which again is a champagne pop dupe this is actually 15 pounds but individually that makes them around gosh i can't even count three ish pound just under three pounds each so it makes it really good value for money love this definitely one to try um if you want a nice highlight palette it's called the holy glow volume one so definitely a good one anyway that is all my budget friendly highlighters join me in the next part of the video which will be my high-end ones i have so many i didn't realize thank you so so much for joining me and i will see you in the next video bye guys